fields covered in plastic waste. That's what I found on my first trip through Cambodia. It was the beginning. During the past six years, since I founded my recycling business in Cambodia, I co-founded four other brands and started a master's degree in Hong Kong. Today, I want to share with you why lack of focus is my biggest weakness and what you can take away from that. You know this feeling, this excitement, when a particular new idea pops up. A friend mentions about something she saw overseas. Your sister mentions something she stumbled over on social media. And the spark is set. To me, that happens all the time. I belong to a type of person who is extremely prone to a specific disease. I'm an entrepreneur. I call it a disease because the negative effects are vastly underestimated. However, it is very common. I'm talking about lack of focus. Typical symptoms in case you are infected with lack of focus. This will solve everything. This will be so easy. This has so much potential. This will be so much more fun. So let me just take a step back and tell you how I got infected. I was lucky enough to do an exchange year during my studies and landed in Hong Kong. During a semester break, I backpacked Southeast Asia and came across Cambodia and fell in love with the people and culture of Cambodia. In Cambodia, I wanted to found a project that supports the ones in need and came thereby across the issue of plastic waste. First thing that struck my eyes were all these cement bags lying around in the streets, fields, and construction sites. The Chinese had invested heavily into infrastructure and tourism. So what do you need in order to build streets and houses? Cement. Cement powder is actually transported in Southeast Asia, mainly in bags, due to the high humidity in plastic bags. So I started to pay locals in order to collect that trash for me and developed products such as backpacks and bags. It was a side hustle, a study project. I named it LFBO. LFBO originates from the logo of the cement companies on the cement bags, and these include often elephants. Meanwhile, I started a job as a consultant at Ernest & Young here in Zurich. It took me actually two years to quit my job at Ernest & Young in order to focus on this project. I quit my job telling my colleagues, my boss, and myself, hey, I was going to found a social impact startup in Cambodia. However, I was already toying around in my mind with other ideas, even though I haven't yet started. So finally, I got my head together and left to Cambodia in order to build a recycling hut, to extend the team, and in order to plan a crowdfunding campaign. I wasn't 100% convinced. So simultaneously, I applied to various master programs in Asia. I just had the feeling I didn't have enough know-how yet to build an e-commerce business. So I pushed through the crowdfunding campaign and quite successfully raised 35,000 Swiss francs and went back to Hong Kong. That is lack of focus due to this will solve everything. After two months at the university in Hong Kong, spending 99% of my time on the laptop working for LFBO, I received a letter which informed me that I will receive an award, an alumni award for my work in Cambodia. I questioned myself, what am I actually doing here? The price was the icing on the cake in order to drop out of the program and return back to Switzerland. 
Two years passed, during which I built up a team here in Switzerland, bootstrapped the company, and finally was able to close a seed funding round of half a million Swiss francs. Now, lack of focus kicks in like a virus on amphetamines. I extend the product portfolio from 25 products to over 300. I then establish new production partnerships in Bosnia, in Portugal, and in China. We set up new recycling tests in Laos, in Myanmar, in the Philippines. We entered the German market without having product market fit in Switzerland. And to top it off, I founded a second brand that developed and sold diaper backpacks. So this is lack of focus due to this has so much potential. Consequences of these decisions, team and myself burning out, quality issues, no real scaling possible. For months, I felt like in a real dark tunnel. Each day, new issues popping up. No end in sight. And then, I just didn't know any further. Instead of digging into operations, actually, I'm looking and searching for solutions outside of the box. Far outside of the box. Too far. I found, developed, and launched a swapping app together with three friends in order to promote circular economy. Now, this is lack of focus due to this will be so much more fun. This will be so easy. I informed my investors about my new side hustle, and the understanding was little. However, I told them also this app, we could use it as a marketing tool for our own company. So they let me continue. To be honest, it was just far more interesting. It was something new, something with a big learning curve, no production dependencies. So the fire was back for a short moment. The excitement, the belief in something big. I continued with it for another year, as a side hustle, and started to license the software to other e-commerce businesses. Still today, you can actually download an app, for example, PlantSwap, and exchange your plants based on our software. Now, why am I making these decisions? It is hard to say how we should have continued. And is it because of the pressure of investors? Is it because the fear of missing out on opportunities? Am I proving something to friends, to colleagues, something to myself? Before I find any answers, we have to continue. I don't find answers. So I realize something has to change. I start to reflect. I start to say no. I start to focus. When you start to say no, when you start to reflect, it has a touch of magic. One block falls into the other, and suddenly people keep you in mind for a specific topic. I became the man to go for a specific topic. The topic rooted back to the origin. Cambodia. Suddenly, I had the capacity to dig into the nitty-gritty details of problems in order to solve them, to optimize processes. Suddenly, I had the capacity to support the team and each team member like he and she deserves and needs it. Suddenly, I had the capacity for creativity. Today, we solely recycle and produce in Cambodia. Today, we proactively market and sell our products only in Switzerland. We have recycled 170,511 cement bags. 
we are still reducing the number of products. Current count, 120. So, if following signs of disease incubation appear, this will solve everything. This will be so easy. This has so much potential. This will be so much more fun. Reflect, say no, focus, and magic will happen. Thank you.